So don't don't be that guy, bro. But then I, I want to bring up uh, Jordan Peterson says, said something that I really resonate with. He was saying that he struggles believing in God. And I was the same way as you, Andrew. I, I was an atheist for a long time. I grew up in the church yeah. and then I rejected it for a long time. I didn't believe in God. And I think I found God from seeing all the evil that runs the world. Oh, absolutely. Seeing the demonic and satanic rituals that they do. That must mean in the inverse that God exists. Completely. But Jordan Peterson said that it's best for him to encourage his followers to follow God because that's the best way society functions. So I am saying I always tell my stream to follow God. I praise Christianity, praise Islam, praise Judaism because it's good. But I still struggle with the belief that God is the father. How much do you really talk about God because you believe in it? And how much do you talk about it because it's the best thing for the 50,000 people watching to follow? That's a good question. But I, I absolutely not really believe. But I think that the way I view God is slightly different than a lot of people perhaps think of God. I don't see if I, it's not a matter of reading the book and thinking there's a guy in the sky is watching over you. I think that you can see God as an idea. Jordan Peterson's trying to tell his followers to believe in God because he likes the idea of the collective consciousness behaving in a certain manner. And I think that when that happens, God within itself exists. Yep. If you have a hundred people in a room and they all do good things in the name of God, well, then God's real, right? Because God's making a hundred people act good and righteous. So you can't say God's not a real force. Whether you want to call him a person, a force, an idea, an inclination, whatever it is, God becomes a real thing. I know that if you act in a in a certain way if you act in a godly way the world is a better place and by extension god must exist if you act in an evil way then the devil must exist like you said all the, de the, the demonic dangerous things they're doing in the world today does that mean there's a man underneath the ground covered in fire who's making them do it or does that mean that their collective consciousness pointed in a negative direction makes the idea of the devil itself a real thing so i know that the it's it's more about the collective consciousnesses yeah, you know what i'm saying it's about having uh, all the people in the world looking in themselves in the mirror and saying that's ungodly i will not act that way and, and that's why you can look at countries like the ones that Myron was saying to move to the Middle East, where the fucking they're they're so ridiculous. You can walk the street in Qatar with $10 million in cash. Nothing's going to happen to you. Is it because of the police or is it because of God? Yeah. OK, there is a serious there is serious punishment, but there's certainly not armed cops in every corner. Like there are in New York. There's certainly not CCTV in every corner like there is in London. There's certainly not any of the, cl the crime fighting uh, apparatus that there is in the West. It's because people think that God wouldn't let me do that. So and society functions that way. So yeah, I absolutely and utterly believe in God as an idea as a whole, and I think that's the, the most important thing. And I, uh, I used to be an atheist, yes, but I also I feel kind of uncomfortable around atheists. And also another thing about atheism that's that that certainly put me off it is all the people who champion it. Look at all the people who are championing atheism. Gross. Find one. And just look, I don't want to be you. And that I've always said, I would never adopt the thinking of someone who is sad. When I see somebody who is sad or depressed or, and they're unhappy. And even if we change subjects and they start telling me their opinion about fucking anything, world war two, fucking their favorite movie, their favorite song, their opinions invalid to me. You're, you're unhappy and I'm happy. So I don't want to think very much like you at all i don't want, really want to adopt any of your thinking like you're saying you've just told me you're depressed and unhappy and sad like most of my haters on youtube will literally openly talk about the anti-depressants they're on and their depression and then come along and say he's a bad person i'm a better person than him i don't want to be like you people I, that sounds like a terrible existence to have an enemy inside of your own mind i have plenty of enemies in the world and none of them are inside of me my enemies are all outside of me so i can see them coming i don't have to fight my own mind i have to fight everything else if you're sitting there in a constant battle against your own mind i don't want to be like you so if I will not adopt the thinking of somebody who is sad, when I sit and look at all the atheists who are doing all this dumb shit, I don't want to adopt their thinking either. If I see a bunch of atheists and see they're all fucking godless, disgusting creatures, I don't want to be an atheist. I just look at them and go, no, sir, that's not my team. I'm going to change. So you have to also be careful. And that's another thing that's interesting. I think one of the reasons why I've managed to gain, and in fact, all of us, the reason we've had such large influences online is because people look at us and understand, you know, I could live his life. In fact, I want his life. To a degree, right? It's not just what we say. It's the aspirational aspect of the lives we live. And a lot of these other people, when they're sitting there giving their opinions, running their mouths, I don't want to have anything to do with their existence. And, and you should also, as a man, keep that in mind. When someone's sitting there telling you shit and you look at them and go, I would fucking hate to be you. Like, be polite. Let them talk. Listen to it. And then, and then fucking blink and cure, cure your brain because you don't need that shit in your mind. Yeah, I mean, it, it, if you can't even control what's in your mind, then you're going to have a really tough time in life because th th it's, it's way harder than that. At least that's within your control. There's so many variables out there. You could walk outside tomorrow and like get hit by thunder or get run over by a car. It's like you got to you got to really maximize the things that you can control and have them in check so that you can go ahead and into a world where you have zero control sometimes. I believe that there is a God. And for me personally, I'm God fearing because once again, 
if you read the Bible, I don't mean to be a Bible number here, but Re Revelations talks about what's happening today in a current marketplace and a current world we live in. And that book is pushing the agenda opposite to what the Illuminati is doing. So I personally think it's real because the good book says what's, what's happening now, uh, but that's just my opinion. Did you want me to read some of these chats, Andrew, or? Uh, I don't think there's anything that interesting in there. Guys, if you have a question for us, you can send us 